Hello everybody, my name is Luke Mar and this is Hot La Mode. And today on Hot La Mode, we are coming to you with a closet tour reaction. This time it is to Gabby Martino's closet tour. Now, Gabby is one of the OG YouTubers. I put anybody that's been doing this probably for 10 plus years in that category. I've been now doing this for seven years. It's very strange to realize that, but she sort of came about in that saturation way with her sister, Nikki Martino. They had a channel together. They probably still do. And now they both do separate sort of things as well. She She's transitioned from the saturation YouTuber era into something I would call more the millennial pink bubblegum baby doll vibe. She's worked with Ariana Grande. She was in the Thank You Next video. She fits into that whole world of light, airy pinks, buying a lot of Chanel, desaturated luxury YouTuber aesthetic. I want to react to a closet tour that she did a few years ago. There are recent ones, but I think this OG one is one that I've wanted to see and talk about for quite some time. So we're going to do that. But before we get any further into the video, I want to say a huge shout out to today's sponsor who is Fabulous. Fabulous is the number one self-care app to help you build better habits and achieve your goals. Every year, most people set New Year's resolutions, but around 80% of these will be abandoned in just the first two months. The best way to succeed with your resolutions is to transform them into tiny habits and stick to them thanks to the Fabulous app. Developed by behavioral scientists at Duke University, Fabulous has guided journeys for common resolutions like exercising more, improving your sleep, and eating healthier. There's no shortcut to changing habits. Let me tell you, I've tried to find them, they unfortunately do not exist. The first 100 people who click on the link in my description box below will get 25% off a Fabulous subscription. Fabulous does allow you to create your own habits and or use any of their hundreds of suggestions which can be organized into morning, afternoon, and evening routines. They also suggest habits like drinking water, exercises, and meditations which might be great for those not knowing where to start. And there are helpful letters, studies, and articles to further explain why these practices are for your betterment. I like to have somebody explain to me why the things I'm doing are good for me. It's helpful. It gives me reason and purpose. With your resolution this year, consider a proven, affordable, sustainable, long-term approach to changing your life. One that builds on your successes. So try Fabulous today by clicking the link in the description box below. Okay, so before we actually get into playing the video, let's just, let's look at our surroundings right now. There's some sort of white handbag sitting on a circular couch. I'm seeing some Louboutins, a Chanel box, a Henry Bendel hat box, which like Henry Bendel, it's not been a uh, great old time for Henry Bendel. You know, it's closed, but if you watched Gossip Girl, you would know what it was. Jenny and Serena both go to Henry Bendel or Bendel. I'm intrigued because I wouldn't think somebody would know about Bendel like that. Okay, Chanel's embroidered Louis Vuitton bag, a carry-all, some Louboutin sparkly patent leather. Oh, Valentino rock studs, always a classic in a wardrobe like this. The Louboutins with the spikes in the bright colors, some Chanel sneakers, Gucci, Louis Vuitton monogram shoes, lots of Chanel. Hey Now, Hey Now song is playing and like this is what dreams are made of. I am intrigued to see whether or not this closet is actually made of my personal dreams. Okay, the title sequence is making me laugh just because like I respect the fact that she just said iMovie, that's it, that's all you're getting. Babies, so yes, this video is a closet tour. Before I get into that closet tour, I am going to do a try on haul, which is also super requested by you guys. Okay, so like she does really look like Ariana Grande. I get it. I get why people say it. Right now, I'm actually sitting on a bed that I have in my closet. Yes, I upgraded. There's a bed in this closet. I mean, I don't think she's queer from my understanding but like living in the closet taken to a different level everything i show you will be linked down below but the finishing the unexpected try on haul not expecting the this first but thing i want to show you guys from my fashion overhaul is this top love that's the first problem listen again again i'm not judging people that shop fashion nova and or fast fashion because they have to. I do oftentimes judge people that have a shit ton of Chanel and Louboutin and Louis Vuitton in their closet and then wear Fashion Nova. People have corrected me in the comments, I think on the last video talking about luxury brands and their clothing and whether or not those things are actually made ethically. They're not. I hear, I see, I recognize that's important, a distinction, but there are brands that like do make sure that they have ethical standards for the people and environment that they make their clothes with or in. And so like work on that. I know it was also 2018. So like there's that, the whole YouTube culture of buy a shit ton of H&M and like do a try on also like I understand that as well. But at the same time, 
No. The little pearls that are embellished throughout the top. And I just paired it off with this cute little tutu skirt. And yeah, this is outfit number one. <laughs> okay. I need to stop. This next dress is a really oh. pretty like flapper dress. It's kind of extra, but I love it. You guys know I love extra. It's super sheer around the hips and then there's frillies where frillies are needed. I didn't ask for the try and haul, but like now that it's here, we're gonna comment. I actually don't mind this that much. I think it's kind of cute. I like the little cutouts on the side. A flapper dress, I would say this is not only in the sort of historical realm of flappers didn't really like wear fringe all that much and also this is a little bit more fitted than a flapper dress would have been so like I understand why she's saying that common fashion myth I probably would have said that three years ago too so I get it but also just for like a distinction 1920 is far more cylindrical not really you know even slightly sort of curving into the body like that also that's fringe not frillies fringe but I do like the color on her this is the next outfit okay houndstooth I love houndstooth so much and I thought this she is just got very it. summery it's a bow. I love bow bandeau tops. I would love to see the vintage collection that we love. Maybe it's vintage inspired. Maybe that's what we're going for. These are all from Fashion Nova, by the way. You guys know that's my favorite store. Next dress is my favorite. I love this little, like, the Again, I really didn't ask for the try and haul and I did not know it was happening. Faux fur, faux feathers? I don't know. I don't know if they're like wonderful and gorgeous. I'm not saying that like real fur and real feathers are so much more chic and gorgeous and wonderful, although at least they're organic. It's just, it's petroleum based, so. Dazzled belt that comes with it. I feel like next to the feathers, it makes it extra glam. Glam, that like was this. the word that we used. A few vlogs oh. ago, I wore okay, this. a little um, I think I wore it in an LA vlog, but this gives me major, major Audrey Hepburn vibes. Very 1950s styled. Wouldn't say that it's necessarily 1950s style. Just putting it out there. The polka dots, a Balenciaga wrap dress. I think it was invented in like the 30s. And then Diana Fersenberg brought it back in the 70s. This dress is such a pretty silhouette. I feel like this is one of those dresses I like these colors on wear. On The Bachelor during a rose ceremony or something. I thought you said rose ceremony and I was like, Still wow. Still very pretty. Uh... I'll grow into it. <laughs> I love it though. Okay, we need the, the haul to end now. I'm... This next okay, now outfit I'm done now. is We're dead good. into the closet tour. Okay, yes. Let's please. guys this is an overview of my closet i i'm intrigued the first part of my closet i'm gonna show you is the blood queens rack so what is blood queens blood queens is a youtube series created by gabby d martino it first aired in october 2017 it is a scream queen spoof the more you know also all the wardrobe from scream queen seasons one and two queen's clothing during an auction okay so she's an auction She's an auctioneer, she's a collector. I respect that. People that collect, you know, iconic clothing that they really identify with, very respectable. Who am I to judge? Who? So the certificates for like validity or in case I run into any legal problems. So those are right. Oh, okay, legal problems. I'm intrigued. What legal problems would come from that? I'd like to know. Any lawyers in the comments? Please. Okay, Chanel's embroidery, silk. This next rack is more of my designer clothing slash runway clothing that I purchased. Okay, slash runway clothing. I'm intrigued. This is my favorite dress. This is spring 2015 Chanel runway. Oh, okay. Spring 2015 Chanel. She's a client and a collector. Spring 2015, that was the collection where all the models had the picket signs. I see that it maybe is a part of the commercial collection. I don't know if it's a runway look. It was based on a style that was on the runway and then sort of goes through the rigmarole of not being put on the runway, it was maybe cut from the runway, but buyers at the Chanel boutiques or buyers within Chanel for each of the stores were like, oh, this, this look will do quite well with clients. So maybe that's why that was done the way that was done. Okay, she really goes for pale, muted. Maybe I was wrong in my assumption about the saturation energy. So the Louboutins. These are like Louboutins. With the casual one in, one out situation. Things love that. Here. Some Valentino. We love a Valentino rock stud. Oh. We like the Pure Palace reinventing them now. Don't know if I love these these gals. And I love this rock right here. I feel like this is a picture right mm, here. I don't know. I don't know. It is a picture, but everything can be a picture. That's my thoughts. Some Scream Queens shoes. Um, these are.
a Manolo. These are like my favorite Fashion Nova heels, guys. Okay, we're gonna talk about the Fashion Nova shoes Look, instead of the Manolo. How okay. cute are they? These are from Fashion Nova and these are from Fashion Nova. She's really into that like flapper sort of vibe. I have my Louis Vuitton travel bag, my Burberry boots, and some Scream Queens boots, and a Louis Vuitton box. Okay. Can you get over here and there's a picture of me and Queen Paris Hilton. When Gorge. It's easy, it's convenient. Okay, so the bags. We're seeing a little bit of a Damier backpack in the white and that beige Chanel bags, Chanel styles. Here I have some. Okay, so we have the Damier. This is the Neverfull. Inverse monogram little mini backpack that like had a moment with the influencers. Although the red and the black one I thought was the cuter, but that's very Nicolas Jaskier vibes. Okay, little black and white bag in a patent leather. I have a feeling that that's from that spring 2013 collection, the one with the solar panels. The tartan one in the middle is from pre-fall 2013 and that collection was done in Scotland. Scotland, it like snowed if you ever get the chance and you're bored and you want to watch it it's actually like very nice but it has a sort of deeper history because it's tied in with one of Coco Chanel's lovers not the Nazi and not Boy Capel but in between she was hooking up with is the Duke of Westminster he was really good friends with Winston Churchill and that's how she on behalf of maybe it was the Vichy regime was trying to get in with Winston later on in life during the Second World War to like get the UK to surrender to Nazi Germany, complicated history. Essentially, she developed her very famous tweed when she was in the Highlands, which is where the Duke of Westminster at that point had manors and castles and homes. Through that, she sort of discovered the Scottish Highlands textile makers, and that's how the tweed of Chanel came to be. So the more you know. So it seems like there's also a Hermes Birkin and black with some gold hardware, Valentino little rock stud bag, a pink Louis Vuitton Alma, I would say. Just the shaping. Again, that technically was developed for Coco Chanel in the 1930s by Vuitton. But like, I'm going to give Gabby that she knows that. She loves that. That's why she bought it. Whoever sleeps in here, whoever sleeps over gets to sleep underneath glory. <laughs> They're ever so lucky, I bet. Over here is like my pastel clothes slash vintage. Okay, pastel slash vintage. Underneath are some bags. Okay. They're not as pricey as the ones on the wall, which is why they're on the, the wall. So oh, wait, that's a Prada bag. I take that back. That is not an Alma. This is my favorite, favorite bag I've ever received. Those Michael who have Kors been sticking around since in with 2015. With the rock stud. I remember. Listen, I like Michael Kors. I do. I like, I like him as a person. I like the clothing on the runway. The bags now. No. It reminds me of like something I'd find at a vintage shop. I love it so much. Underneath is a lot of Blood Queen slash Scream Queens props and like accessories like earmuffs. The Billy Lord earmuffs from Scream Queens will always be iconic. My Givenchy sunglasses. I mean, it was like, okay, like I've heard worse. I've heard it wasn't Givenchy. Looks so Victoria's Secret. <laughs> I like to put the next. <laughs> Victoria's Secret, Givenchy. Down here, I have my two Gucci Wallets, belts. belts. Fun okay. fact, this is Billy Lord's um, Chanel number no. three from Scream Queens. It came in the mail with the auction stuff. This is just one of those plain Gucci belts, the black one. This is my Cuban scarf, my Burberry scarf, my Louis Vuitton scarf. Mm. For people that buy scarves from luxury brands that are like silk, I'm not gonna judge the ones that are sort of wool because I think that's probably actually used for like cold weather things. But people that buy silk scarves, what do you use those for? And how often do you actually wear them? Because I'd, I'd love to know. I understand the people that like take an Hermes scarf and put it on a Birkin on the handle or something like that. That I get that, you know. But like, what else? What else do you use that for? I really like to know. I would. I would. And then these are like wallets Kay. slash smaller bags. Um, so it's a Louis Vuitton satchel, a Gucci satchel, a Louis Vuitton wallet, and a Chanel wallet. These are all to be protected. Good to know. Over here, we have my camera. <laughs> I have like surveillance cameras everywhere in this apartment. So you can sleep under um, the bags, you can't steal anything. Somebody could steal a Scream the, Queens like, collectible. Camera. That would be terrible, but good uh, to know she's taking camera. care. And then I have this candle, which is fresh cut roses. I wonder if it actually smells like fresh cut roses. I buy my candles at Home Goods. It works honestly 
really great because they're usually cheap and I just find a small that I like. Down here, I have a Chanel box and I have For legal all reasons. the Scream Queens wardrobe. I think this was like the first Chanel bag I ever bought. The quail, I, yeah, I'm not, I not mad at that. I have a lot of beanies and like hats that I wear and then a cute little hat box. Do we keep hats in the hat box? I'd like to know. Just have like a Gucci box Gucci. Sitting, just to mm. fill some space. So yeah, that is my closet. Let me know in the comments if you like these kind of videos. And yeah. Thank I'll you, see you Gabby. Guys in my next fancy vlog. You guys get ready for the next fancy vlog. I don't think you're ready. I don't think I am. So that was painful, but it was a little bit worse than I thought. I had, I guess, higher expectations, but I really shouldn't have. And again, like I know that video is old. Maybe her Fashion Nova habits have changed. Maybe they haven't. I enjoy the fact that she collects the Scream Queen stuff. I feel like that's fun. I feel like that's stuff that she actually really enjoys. And I appreciate that that is her aesthetic and she sticks to it and she likes it and she goes for it every single time. The runway pieces, not really runway, which also kind of, I don't know, sometimes that sucks to me a little bit only because you're paying a lot of money for something that's not actually on the runway. I actually don't believe that this jacket that I've been falsely advertising as from Tom Ford's Gucci runway is actually runway. I think it might be like a commercial version. So again, like it happens to the best of us. With that, I would love to know what you guys think in the comments down below about this closet tour. Again, I want to say a huge shout out to today's sponsor who is Fabulous. Listen, I'm feeling fabulous now that this is done and I will be using a fabulous meditation to get over it. So again, click the link description box below. I will see you guys on the next video and TTYL.